Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here, and today we're looking at Grendel by Matt Wagner and Bernie Miro. All right, so this is so cool. I love Grendel. Grendel is absolutely one of my favorite comic books of all time, particularly the Christine Spar illustrated by the Pander Brothers. Like, um, I discovered uh, Matt Wagner, like Mage a little bit, and then like some of the Hunter Rose uh, Grendel. And then when the Pander Brothers, Christine Spar, Grendel came out, like, it was totally over for me. Like, that was one of my jams as a comic. I just absolutely loved it. I wanted it to go on forever. Um, I was really sad when their run ended with issue 12, but in retrospect, hey, that's really cool to get 12 great issues from some of your favorite artists. And so, uh, what, what could possibly follow... Uh, the Pander Brothers and Grendel, and today we're going to look at that. It's uh, Bernie Miro uh, with Matt Wagner, uh, the artist for The Jam. Um, I was just reading in the letters page here that uh, he found, like, he sent Matt Wagner some, like, one of his uh, comic books, and he said that he didn't like, <laughs> he wasn't a fan of Matt's work at first, but then he kind of realized he was. And they sort of became friendly and got this mutual respect thing going on. And then he invited him to draw Grendel. So how cool is that? Um, so this is such a departure from the Pander Brothers. If you know the Pander Brothers, they're very like angular, sort of futuristic looking at the time. It was like very sharp, angular, a little manga-esque in a way. Um, so this is such a departure and, and just like all the right ways and it was so cool and first let's start with this gorgeous wraparound cover um penciled by bernie miro and um painted over by ken stacy the great ken stacy great painter did a lot of work for kamiko in the 80s um uh i can't like i don't know he did a lot of airbrush looking stuff this is kind of very different from like a lot of the stuff he was doing and I think it just looks so cool. It's like such a great unexpected like marriage of art styles and it's just beautiful. I just love it. I think it's so moody and cool. We have Brian Lee Sung on the cover sewing a Grendel mask. Grendel is sort of like a, uh, like a movement in a way, like, uh, if you're sort of down on your luck or down and out or just oppressed by society and want to take your life back, it feels like the Grendel force sort of takes you over and gives you direction and guidance and, I don't know, a pitchfork to exact your revenge. Bedeviled, first part. This was three parts. And uh, Matt is saying that um, he... You know, a, he is an artist, first and foremost, artist, writer, um, Grendel, mage. And then when Kamiko offered him a monthly Grendel book, he decided not to draw it to give other artists a chance to show, like, their interpretation. And um, But he really liked the art on this uh, Bernie Miro, so he wanted to color it. And he did color the first issue. The subsequent issues are colored by Joe Matt. We'll get to him in a minute. But um, it's definitely a different palette. I think that I was probably in shock when I first saw it. Although I do like Brian Lee Sung. He was uh, romantically involved with Christine Spar and kind of went through most of the ordeal with her, with her kidnapped son in San Francisco, and which she went through with Chujuro and stuff. I like Grendel. I think uh, Matt Wagner was always pretty experimental with storytelling um, within the confines of the book. And it just always has had like a different, very different look. And I love it, just certain panels like this. Um, I don't think I've really read too much else uh, by Bernie uh, Miro. Like this was probably my first and last um, introduction to him. As I like his stuff, um, I guess I just never came across, you know, like the jam or whatever at the comic book stores I shopped at. So. I definitely feel like I should, you know, sort of try to revisit it and look into it. Um, very cool shot of Tujuro here, as we know, the Chinese vampire. 
masquerading as a kabuki dancer in order to um, get his victims. It's funny because the the Panda Brothers uh, Grendel world is very like futuristic, but sort of dirty and grimy and gritty at the same time. And it's just cool to see Bernie's interpretation of that world with the flying cars and everything. I do like this homespun kind of Grendel mask with the stitching on it. I do like the whole concept. Night and the Enemy, that's what I was thinking. This is a, I have this, I have this, but a Harlan Ellison and Ken Stacy painting, um, the sci-fi. And Grendel Black Book, I totally had that too. What a great shot. I love uh, Matt Wag Wagner doing Hunter Rose, um, Grendel. Christine Spar is my jam. She'll always be my favorite, but I do have an affection for Hunter Rose as well. We've seen him a lot in like Grendel, black, white, and red and things like that. So little flashbacks to the Panda Brothers run here. I love this kind of, it's very um, indie looking to me, of course, you know. You wouldn't, especially at this time, you wouldn't see this kind of art in like a Marvel or DC comic book until they would get more into like their vertigo and their, you know, Marvel Max and Marvel Knights and stuff like that. Although I guess uh, Bill Sienkiewicz kind of broke the mold on um, traditional comic book art. I always love the shot of Regina. It's just very moody and very like dark. Grendel would very much lend itself well to like a, a Netflix series or any any streaming, but you know, just a serialized show just because it the potential is endless. Like anyone can become Grendel. Grendel sort of finds you when you're at your deepest despair. Um, so I kind of like that. It's kind of sinister, right? I love Kamiko with their little telltale logo here. Kamiko was so great. Elementals, um, just Space Ghost, Gumby, just like Space, Space Ghost, all kinds of fun stuff. It was like totally my favorite comic book company um, outside of Marvel and DC back in the back in the late 80s, I guess it was. So now it's be color, being colored by Joe Matt, who was also responsible for coloring um, pretty much most of the Panda Brothers um, uh, covers, their wraparound covers for the original 12 issue run. The interesting thing about Joe Matt is like, he's a cartoonist. Um, I did seek out his work or somehow I found it in the show in the form of a probably, um, you know, one of the more indie slice of life autobiographical kind of comic strips called Peep Show. And, um, it's so good. It just, it made me fall in love with, uh, Joe Matt and sort of that kind of comic book, the autobiographical, like indie kind of book, very, um, underground, very neurotic. <laughs> I haven't read Joe Matt in a long time. I definitely should uh, seek out some of his other stuff aside from Peep Show. But if you're into indie books and underground books and stuff like that, it's definitely worth checking out, I would say. Wiggins, such a good villain. Is that Wiggins? No. Dominic Riley. Is it Dominic Riley? No, it can't be Dominic Riley. He he bit the dust. Christine Spar took care of his ass. I wanted this freaking satin sage sage mage uh jacket so bad. Is it like purple or pink? Did anyone have this? Like oh my gosh. I know I had a mage t shirt that you could not take off of me. I just loved it so much. And a Grendel t shirt too. This is so cool. I'm loving this color because given that it was like 1988, like it's totally like uh, stands up. I'd love to see this reprinted. I do think I have it in the omnibus, but um, that'll be for a different day, guys. 
Space Ghost, Steve Rude doing an excellent Alex Toth impersonation. I like how, like, he, using different storytelling techniques, and this is what I say about comics, how comic books are great. Like, you know, he wants to include the torn out pages of his journal, so that's helping, you know, drive the story. And then there's this sort of Grendel voice in his head, and that's how you see it manifesting itself there. So, you know, you're getting visual storytelling cues all over the place, not just from the art, but the way the, you know, the font is, or the lettering, or the type, or whatever, just the, the placement and the form that it's in. So I think comics are so cool like that. I love sound effects in comics. They're so great. This is cool there. Like this arrow has the Grendel eyes on it and the blood. I just love little design elements like that. Bernie Miro is so cool. I love his art. How great is he? This is only three issues. Cool ass. Oh my gosh. I wish that you could order from old um, ads. Isn't it funny? Ten ninety five for t-shirts. They're really pretty much around the same price. Although I guess if you were going to get this from like graffiti, it'd probably be what? 20, 30 bucks maybe. But anyway, I'd love to have a Dave Stevens drawn Johnny Quest t-shirt. How cool would that be? And that Mage t-shirt was really cool too. This is the Grendel t-shirt I had. Oh my God, I loved it so much. Such a huge fan of the Panda Brothers. Absolutely love their art. I try to get everything that they do. Uh, number 15. Another amazing cover by Bernie Miro and um, Ken Stacy. I just love the texture that's going on. I have absolutely no idea how this was done, if it was traditionally painted or what the hell he did, because there wasn't a lot of computer action going on back then. So, um, if any, Kamiko, why settle for anything less? For anything less, miniseries Fathom, Star Blazers, Johnny Quest, Grendel, Robotech, Justice Machine, Gumby, Fish Police. I mean, Kamiko was the shit. I'm telling you guys, if you ever see this, like in a dollar box or anything like that, pick the book up, no matter what it is. It's totally worth it. I have to say, I'm really kind of... Uh, marveling how like seamless uh the coloring went from matt wagner to joe matt i guess he got that out of his system oh look there's a little chihuahua in the background i don't think i ever noticed that before and today's my little chihuahua rocco's birthday he's seven today so that's a sign of what i have no idea but it's a sign nonetheless so this is Wiggins. He was such a pain in the ass. The cops in this just are terrible. <laughs> Imagine that. They're like so sinister. Although I guess it's your perspective, right? If you're Grendel, of course you're going to think the cops are bad. It's so weird how Brian Lee Sung was just like the stage manager for a theater in San Francisco. Just, you know, minding his own business, doing his job. And then in blows Christine Spar to turn his life on its ear completely and inject Grendel into his life. Such a great shot. Oh my God. I need to find my space ghost. I know I have my space ghost somewhere. So stay tuned for that, guys. Beautiful, fun art. I mean, even if you have no idea what's going on in the story, don't you just like find this art so compelling and like totally want to read into this. Like I'm loving this kind of airbrush effect he has going on through here. Ha, I get a real kick out of this house. So I guess this is Grendel. Yeah, that is the voice of Grendel. This is the ghost or the ghost, the voice of Brian. It's his downward spiral into becoming Grendel. And this is the voice of Grendel taking him. It's just such a great moody book. If you're not a Grendel fan, which you probably are if you're watching this video, but Grendel is definitely one of those things that if you're like fresh out of things to read, go for Grendel. 
I just love this. Like all the, I mean, this is just so cool. Him sitting in a tree with his scarf and like his arrow and I don't know. It's just so cool. I love this art so much. I definitely want to check out more from this artist. Spoilers, it's over. Yeah, it usually comes to a bad end if you choose to wear the Grendel mask. Don't count on an early retirement unless it's to the grave. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. That is Grendel um, by Matt Wagner and Bernie Miro in one of the great greatest arcs in the chapter of the history of Grendel. Definitely worth checking out. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, hit like, share my content, and I'll bring you some more later. Thanks, guys.